All right, welcome back, and uh, welcome to our weekly, um, usually weekly um, segment, Chopping It Up with my friend Matt Wood. And um, if I giggle throughout this, Matt understands why. It's because we had a little bit of fun before we got started. But as promised, this week we're going to talk about Yahoo, their security, I say breach, but it really wasn't a breach. Uh, we'll let Matt, Matt has the expertise here, we'll let him um, inform us and educate us about this, and then we're going to talk a little bit too about the discrimination lawsuit that has been filed against it as well, and it's interesting a uh, couple of months, series of months, six weeks roughly for the company, and um, I'm really not sure that, uh, you know, that um, Mar Marissa Mayer is going to survive. But uh, before we get really get into the meat of the thing, let me get Matt in here and let him reintroduce himself and tell you guys who he is. Hey, guys. Uh, Matt here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a software developer. So, um, you know, uh, coding away is pretty much all the fun I do. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, I won't fix your computer, but uh, I will help you uh, understand some of the, you know, technology stuff that you hear in the news because it's it's getting more and more prevalent. Yeah. You know, in you know, uh, and maybe you can learn the right terms instead of calling it the cyber like uh, Donald Trump does. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's set the background. And I was right and wrong and then right and wrong. And so there were two things with Yahoo. And there was a security breach. But there was also internally something kind of unprecedented that was going on. Um, the, the hack was um, unprecedented. It as it turns out, the company has been investigated, investigating a hack of over 500 million user accounts. That is an astonishing amount of accounts, um, and the highest. It, it, it's a record-setting amount. And then last week... Rutgers, Rut, Rutters, I'm sorry, Lord. We're going to struggle. Th this is going to be a struggle <laughs> segment because Matt doesn't know this, but you guys know it because we talked about it this morning. We're recording this on Wednesday night, which is our typical night, and I didn't sleep well last night because we finally got around to talking about abuse and Juanita Broderick and Paula Jones and all that situation. So I'm, I'm exhausted. But So um, it was reported that in addition to that security breach, that hack, um, that Mayer had intentionally hid an initiative by the government from her own security team. She, they, yep. uh, Yahoo has been under fire for this hack and for some other uh, security breaches that it ha has had. And I believe it was in 2014, they hired a new guy, a very well-respected guy in um, the security industry and she hid she and her advisors hid this initiative this government instituted it was instituted on behalf of the u.s intelligence community um, and it allowed them to scan the incoming emails of all of yahoo users and yep. um and if you're not troubled by that you should be so we'll let matt come in here and explain all this for us and, and, and help us sort through this. Oh yeah. So, you know, let's, so the, there, there's three things that are happening with Yahoo and, and we'll kind of go in order with, with which in they broke in the cycle. First was the hack. Second was the government program. And then thirdly is the, uh, alleged, uh, sex discrimination lawsuit levied against Yahoo um, it's, uh, from the men saying, hey, they got rid of all the men. Uh, now they're just hiring all the women. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's start first with the hack. So the hack was uh, 500 million accounts. And this was back in 2014, I believe. 
So, <clears throat> I mean, and th- and they didn't get her, and they didn't say it then. They didn't say, "Hey, mm-hmm. change your past." We think something may have been going on. No, you waited two years to tell people. Oh, there was a hack. That I mean, and I don't know how many of you use Yahoo's uh, mail service. I've used it. Um, you can do a lot of stuff in there. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess they're all kind of becoming Gmail in a way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, you have your mail. Obviously, you have a calendar. Um, you have like a notepad type thing you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, there's people who tie that email address to other accounts, um, whether it's social media or banking or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, so that's bad. And I mean. <laughs> Um, and let's be real. I mean, some a lot of people use they shouldn't, but they <laughs> they use the same password for multiple places. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if 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 you know you get hacked, your email address and your password, and if they see like, oh hey, uh, you know you're already attached to these and use those uh, same passwords. I mean you you know someone's been leeching your data in a way for for two years possibly. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, very. That's very bad. Like, <laughs> um, why? Why they didn't let anybody know? I have no idea. I am, you know, it may be because they were trying to save face. Uh, Yahoo's been the, uh, you know, the bastard child now. I mean, they used mm-hmm. to be the top of the game in the nineties. They were, they were the Google. Yeah. You know, they were the number one search engine. They were the one. They were the uh, the hip company people wanted to work at and be associated with. I remember getting their magazine in the mail and Cindy Margolis was on it every freaking three issues. Uh, <clears throat> and now it's like they, it, it's, it's the whole point of like, Hey, we're at the top. Why do we need to innovate? Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously another company comes along. We can do it faster and better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. Try it. We're, we're number one here. And, Obviously, now they have that. So now Yahoo the crapper, <clears throat> uh-huh. and now you have this. Yeah, you're 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 not going to go. They're they're probably not <laughs> get any higher than they are. Plus, bits and pieces have been sold off anyway. Yeah, uh, see, that's the thing. That's kind of part of this is that um, the core portion of Yahoo has been sold to Verizon um, was in the process of being sold to, yeah. to Verizon and, and the, um, the investigation by um, the um, by uh, who's let's see here Let me get this right um, uh, let's see here uh, la 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 Okay, so there was, yeah, there there was a September 9th proxy filing with the mm-hmm. Securities and Exchange Commission concerning this Verizon deal. It didn't disclose this, and there's some disagreement yeah. on whether it should or should not have been because it was ongoing. There wasn't, you know, what how much did they know and what it is is and, and all of that. But what, and, um... But even beyond that, what I think what is concerning for me, and we'll be tweeting out links to to the articles that we're looking at and, and relying on. Yeah, um, they hired a new chief information security officer in early 2014, and his name is Alex Stamos. Um, Matt probably is familiar with him. Did I pronounce his name correctly? Uh. It sounds right to me. I mean, it's it's spelled just like John Stamos, so yeah. I assume that it's um, pronounced that way. So, um, when the government approached Yahoo with this classified order to violate its users' privacy, if you want to know where I fall on, which side <laughs> of the fence I fall on on, on this deal, they mm. didn't tell him. They didn't consult him. They didn't discuss with him. And uh, to me, that's wrong. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think Marissa Mayer has done a terrible job at Yahoo. Oh, and, yeah. And, 
and we're gonna yeah we're gonna talk about the discrimination lawsuit here in a minute but to me that's just inconceivable why would you hire a security expert and then not have any discussions with him about this and i think he resigned didn't he yeah he he was i mean that that may have been the straw that broke the camel's back i mean he um he would also be denied funding for security and and other things where he's like hey you're trying to you know, you're paying me to make this thing really secure, and then you're you're denying me at every turn. Um, because I mean, this would be a big fight, you know, because he was like saying, "Hey, you're just letting the government go in there without yeah. a warrant. You're just yeah. going to give it to them." Yeah. And plus, we don't know what the hell. I need to see that code. I need to see what this program does and yeah, interact exactly. Because if you don't, hey, you just open it up. Now, I'm not saying that this. That's like the CE. That's like the CEO of uh, Apple. When I mean, they got kind of a similar request too, right? And they were to like to re- was, yeah to uh, make a backdoor so they could get into the yeah. same. You know, so that would be and, like the CEO there not consulting any of his security and just saying, "Oh, well, okay," you know. Yeah. I mean, it's stupid. It's unprecedentedly dumb. Yeah, and 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 then that's the thing is. You know, the government makes uh, what what type of argument is it? Because um, where you go, I mean, it's like who the hell's going to vote again, or you know, try to defend like what you don't want to open a terrorist phone? It's like that's not like I guess a straw man in a way, but like that's not what the argument is. Yeah. It you know, and like this one was like, oh hey, we can help. You know, we want to see like who's uh, peddling child pornography. That yeah. you know, that's that's the argument they set up against, and it's like. You know, you're going to sit there and try to argue why this is wrong, and the the whole argument against you is what you want child pornographers to have this access, and it's like ugh, that's not what the argument is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the government just went in, went up to a company, hey, just run this. We just want you to scan our email, scan the emails, and send them to us. No warrant, no probable cause. Yeah, nothing. No of the user that they're they're being surveilled. I mean. Just a bunch of crap. I mean, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's I, crazy. I, I mean, folks pr- should really stop using their products. Um, I'm not saying Google's better because obviously Google has, <laughs> they're the ones that get to read all your information and yeah. send you targeted ads and everything. Yeah, they uh, they have their own brand of um, vileness. I, I, I agree. I don't use Yahoo. Um, I've got some Yahoo email accounts that I never use anymore. I do use Google for for everything, although I, and I have um, similar concerns, even though it's not really the same. And I mean, mm-hmm. hell, we don't know if if Google is doing this either. You know, right. um, we we found this out. Be- I don't even know how we. Do you know how did we even find out that that Yahoo was doing this? Um, it was, uh, um, I believe it was because of the, uh, all the, uh, um, investigation into the hack. Yeah. It Verizon and everything going, wait, what's this? I mean, it, it, it kind of a way now I'm not saying like Yahoo was setting Verizon up or anything, but, but if Verizon didn't do their due diligence on this. Mm-hmm. And then what Yahoo or whoever can sit there and make the claim after the sale was all said and done. Hey, this was this was this was done two years ago. Mm-hmm. Verizon, why why didn't you tell us? Yeah. Or hey, Verizon, why are you letting the government? You yeah. know. So I mean, I'm not saying that you know that's the intent of Yahoo or anything, but you know, it, it would have been on their hands if yeah. if in you know, deal with this. Yeah. Um, you know, the crazy thing to me, Matt, um, and it will let you make some comments and then we'll turn to the sexual discrimination thing too. But the crazy thing to me is if it wasn't for them being total F ups, um, you know, the, the breach and all of that, we wouldn't know about it. And then the second part of that is like we mentioned Google, what other companies are doing this and we don't know about it. And that the government is has the 
the gall and is getting away with going out here <laughs> and doing this. If you're not concerned about that, my God, you should be. Yeah, and I mean, and so, um, you know, the the 20th century and a little bit, or the last half of the 20th century, and I'm and still a majority of this century. You know, the main issue has been civil rights, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that that will still be a thing. Um, but the the uh, other horse that is starting to come into the race is all these uh, privacy concerns. Yeah. Um, and technology and stuff and how we don't have any laws on the books and then you have to have you know the supreme court has to you know interpret these on laws that probably in their spirit and their wording you know do not take into account computerized devices mm -hmm. um and <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it's we're going to start seeing. I mean, you're going to start seeing lawsuits against companies that go back and forth between appeals courts, and they're going to be heard at the Supreme Court. And you're going to get stuff that's going to involve the government, and you know, and it, it, it all. It, and it just seems like no matter how many times something is deemed unconstitutional, hey, here's the government right there again with some. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying loophole, but blatant disregard of rulings. Blatant disregard. <laughs> you know, blatant disregard for the civil rights and liberties of its citizenry. And as, you know, and it's it's an area where, I, and I, I like Barack Obama on a personal level, and, and I think he's been overall a good president, but his civil rights, his tenure um overseeing in the justice department and, and civil rights is horrid it's yeah. absolutely terrible and um and i don't in my opinion history's not going to be kind to him in that regard yeah i mean and yeah i mean it has been the the supreme court for the past couple of years going yeah you can do this or no you can't and it is pretty much ruled every sort of program or privacy matter unconstitutional mm -hmm. not every one of them but most of them i mean the whole thing of like let's say you have a locked phone you know they need a warrant now for you to tell you hey uh put in your pin number and unlock your phone um they can't just have you open it <clears throat> mm -hmm. um which i'm sure that gets skirted around like oh if you don't open it we'll go downtown waste three hours of your life <clears throat> um yeah and if anybody's looking for like a like a encrypted email like maybe you want to feel safe or something like that uh so if there is something hacked nobody knows what the hell's in your email <laughs> uh, ghost mail and proton mail mm -hmm. both are highly recommended um <clears throat> and remember just because you use it doesn't mean that you don't you have nothing to hide yeah <laughs> yeah you know, um, yeah. yeah, I mean that all that comes with its own issues too. The real quick, let's get to this sexual discrimination uh, lawsuit. And I, in preparing for this segment, um, I had not realized before, but this is actually the second. There are two ongoing right yeah. now, and this latest one is by a guy who was fired. He was the former editor in chief, senior editorial director. I'm sorry, his name is Scott Ard filed a lawsuit. It is pending right now in California's Northern District Court in San Jose. Um, and it alleges federal civil rights um, violations and violations of employment regulations. And um, in looking, you and I have been talking about this for a week or so. And in my latest look at it, um, I was struck by how... Now, I... I have no doubt but that um, Yahoo, when Marissa Mayer took over, probably wasn't very uh, diverse in terms mm -hmm. of its, you know, um, the the diversity of its gender at um, mm -hmm. a lot of... But when I was looking at the numbers, she did turn those numbers over very quickly. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. incredibly quickly 
and um, and I think you know I, I, I'm going to follow this very closely, but you know that does raise some questions for me. Oh yeah, and I'm and obviously you know you know innocent until proven. Yeah, uh, you know it, you know it, it does look a little discriminatory. However, there are a couple of points. Um, so all these firings and stuff were under this new, uh, performance review system. Now, uh, it is alleged, <clears throat> um, in some other circles, not, not, uh, in any court filings <clears throat> that Yahoo obviously was seeking finance, was, was in some dire straits, but obviously if you sit there and lay, you know, 4,000 people off or whatever at one time, obviously your stock price tumbles. Mm -hmm. so, so you have these new performance reviews. And yeah, the, the performance reviews, that's an interesting part of it too. And you, uh, you uh, say like, oh, hey, you adjust the standards. You don't meet the standard anymore. You're out the door. Um, and that way you can, you can hide layoffs without, you know, calling them layoffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um now, obviously, there's, uh, you know, that's that's alleged. That's not actually in any suits. Um, <clears throat> and um, there's also, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole, like, <clears throat> as a developer, you know, like, the, the field is predominantly white dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, well, and that demographic is changing because, you know, all those you know, white dudes, you know, they, they can, you know, they're retiring and there are issues of ageism in Silicon Valley, um, <clears throat> or like these tech hotspots, not so much everywhere. Um, you know, like if you're past 40, you're considered retired, you're not useful anymore, which is absurd. But <clears throat> so all these dudes, you know, they're, they've been in these positions 20 or 30 years some new blood in mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it just so happens that they're men and it may just be circumstantial that they're men mm -hmm. and yes you know they're being replaced by women or people of color or anything like that so <clears throat> it may seem that way so it, it, it may actually just you know it may be still discrimination but age discrimination and it just happens that they used you know, to have a they used to have a term for it um, uh, discriminatory. Uh, oh, I'll have to look it up, and uh, I won't waste your time while I'm looking it up. But there there is a legal term for that. It is almost like uh, prima facie negligence, and, and that is kind of discriminatory on its face. But there's a legal term for it, and I can't. It's escaping me right now. I'm having brain farts today and I'm making up words and doing all kind by the way the other gentleman who is suing Yahoo his name uh, he was the former Yahoo's autos managing editor Gregory Anderson and mm -hmm. he filed that lawsuit back in February and uh, we will keep an eye on that but you know again it's there's a lot of moving pieces to this and as Matt so rightfully pointed out, you know, there um, the suit alleges that um, uh, there have been more than 50 since 2002, since 2002, since 2012, when Mayer took over, um, that Yahoo had terminated more than 50 employees within a 30-day period, and, and that took place on, on several different occasions, and that is part of that violation of that provision that allows you it's like doing a layoff without doing a layoff and trying to save money like a money saving tactic and and what have you it's it's got a lot of interesting aspects to it and we'll definitely have to to keep an an eye on things yeah i don't know you know when i was preparing for this uh, and, and i jump on Yahoo very frequently and I'll, I'll just say this you know from an outsider looking in and I don't have a dog in this fight and I love to see um, diversity work in in the right way and you know more women getting an opportunity and what have you 
Um, and this is neither here nor there, but I will say this as a fantasy football player in Yahoo for a long, long, long time had been the gold standard there for me in terms of its app for playing fantasy football, the website, the interface and what, what have you. But, um, there has been a noticeable decline in the, um, in the quality and what have you and I jumped on you know just the front page the Yahoo front page to me looks outdated and, and cluttered and very much amateurish to me oh, yeah. well it's it's because it's it's rushed to make it look like everything else um, and yeah that, it, that never works you know instead of going hey we're redesigning let's you know you know, think out what we keep, what we, you know, what we get rid of. You know, it's like, oh, let's just keep everything in, and uh, slap some new paint on it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, Google, I mean, look at Google. It's it's minimalist, you know? Very minimalist, very, I don't like busy websites, but, vi- busy web interfaces anyway, and Yahoo is the definition of busy. You look at it, and it's just unsightly and ugly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's horrible. You know, and, and uh, I don't have I don't have an axe to grind. I'm just saying as a consumer, um, it is literally the last website I would go to get anything. Yeah. You know, and I, I honestly, I only go there for, for fantasy f- football stuff. That's the only reason why I ever go to yahoo it is for fantasy football and um you know yeah i used to visit there um but google has replaced that and has become kind of that you know that mm-hmm. standard and then it's because you can just do a search and get what you want and not have to have that or that i saw you know that um, eyesore kind of um you know makes your eyes want to bleed just looking at all the stuff there. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's very, crap. Yeah, very, <laughs> very interesting stuff. Matt, it's always a pleasure. We um, we managed to, to really, you know, kind of cover that pretty thoroughly in, in 30 minutes. We'll have to come up with something else to talk about next week. Um, I'm so I'm almost getting I, we're going to continue to talk about politics. It's it's important. Um, the there was a hashtag today that I'll probably end up discussing on Friday. Um, basically repeal the 19th. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> yeah, I mean because you know women are going to make sure Trump doesn't get elected, so let's repeal the 19th. I was evil oh. awful Jezebel women. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's not forget. Like two days ago, too, he said, "Hey, the the uh, the others are going to steal this election from you." Uh, kind of nodding towards uh, uh, the African American and Latino communities. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's I, I've not I have it's we, it is crazy. I mean, we're it's <laughs> just crazy. Matt, tell everybody out there where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at Twitter at Woodstock. That's W zero zero D S T O K. We'll find something interesting to talk about next week. Matt, have a great evening. Thanks, you too. All right, good night. Good night.